Hey, Ben Bash. It's the 23rd of February, 2019. And there's a lot of very interesting things that have been put in my path here that uh, one thing just leads to another. And this this article here really is uh, kind of remarkable, really, when you see what it leads to. Um, because this blockchain stuff, you know, this is this this was the hope of the free world to have a reliable and secure separate uh, means of commerce uh, without being uh, regulated into oblivion by this overreaching banking cabal that basically runs the world. So this is now hackable. And I want you to just look at something here real quick. This is the image that they put with this article. MIT Technology Review. <laughs> three yellow boxes, okay, with three, uh, I guess, zeros in here, with just one of the boxes open. But you have your 33 right straight off, okay? But this box is open, okay? There's multiple things here. Uh, in one sense, you could say that uh, they've opened Pandora's box, but I see these three su supposed zeros with glory around them in this endless sea of blue, a boundless, if you will, I guess. And that, that illustrates how the world has put God in a box, okay? But the box is open. And there's a choice you can make. You can choose the beautiful blue boundless sky, or you can choose the everlasting pit of darkness. Okay, that's that box is still open. That door is open. And you can step in through Christ Jesus, or you can eventually wind up in darkness. That's just how I see that. But the blockchain, this is crazy. I mean, the chains, immediately when I see this, right, it causes me to think of DNA. And what is DNA comprised of? It's a molecule that's composed of two chains carrying the genetic instructions of life, right? So this once unhackable block chain is now hackable. You see what I'm saying? Now you got to understand that what the world is looking at is a DNA ID database. This is just the way it is. They just kind of floated a, a law in Arizona that didn't go through, but nonetheless, they floated it. And so this is what's coming, is my point. And all this craziness we see in like the markets and, and the economy and everything is completely and utterly fake, and it's all going to collapse. And the new system eventually is going to require a DNA sample for your positive identification. Okay? And this all ties into the 5G because this type of technology will literally be able to manipulate your reality. One of the highest uh, goals, stated goals, is to enhance the virtual reality and augmented reality. And if you read this, it's just unbelievable. This will be literally manipulating brain waves. I'm just telling you this is how it's going to work. And there is no way to escape it but one. And it's Jesus Christ. However, if you look into things, this article just came out today, just today, but it's a real thing. You can vet this out. They're doing this, okay? They're controlling with just simple thoughts and technology, of course, wirelessly controlling these rats. And, and you know as well as I do, if we were able to, you know, take a walk deep underground, uh, we would see all kinds of things, many of which would probably make us want to die. Because these are the things that not only that they're doing, but have been doing for a very long time. These things are all in place. And when the hammer drops, it's going to drop. That's all I can tell you. 
and this is linked to the DNA. This is a spiritual war playing out in the natural world. That's what you're seeing, okay? The uh, blockchain technology is no more secure. So they're already setting up the whole system for it. The United States is key in helping China set up its entire system so they can just easily implement it right here at home. And this is what's coming. There's going to be a giant financial calamity, a huge hack of some sort. It's going to cause all kinds of chaos. And the new system that's going to have to be put in place for your safety and security, mind you, will have to include your DNA. And they're already doing this. They've been doing it for a long time. This is just one example uh, of what they've been doing. The one location that they have of seven freezers the size of a basketball court. They have seven of those, and they're building more. It says so in here somewhere. Um, with hundreds of millions of samples already. It, it's literally ready to go. And the chains, I'm telling you, the chains have so much to do with this. Even biblically, okay? And the angels which kept not their first estate. In other words, they came down and mixed themselves with the women and created the men of renown. You know what I'm saying? They left their own habitation and he's reserved in everlasting chains. Look at that. 1199. Under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. I mean, you got to read this to really fully understand. Okay? There were certain men that crept in unawares. They were before of old ordained to this condemnation. And look at this, look at this word, desmon. And that, that immediately reminded me of that crazy, I hate to even show this stuff, but this is so, this, this little kid named Desmond, right? Desmond. Okay. That's what we see as the chains. And this kid is illustrating, manifesting the chains put on the flesh. Okay. So if you are not reborn in the spirit, you are literally in chains. Literally, like little Desmond here. I mean, this just goes so deep, you guys, I can't even begin to tell you. I I'm serious. And it's directly related to the DNA. And they floated this in Arizona, like I said. That was where they, they pushed out this mass uh, collection of DNA bill that didn't go fully through. However, they pushed it. It's just dipping their toes in the water. And it was in Arizona. How ironic. The very same place there where Phoenix is located, right? Phoenix. The Phoenix. The 1111. Phoenix. Started in Arizona. I'm just telling you, this is how I see this stuff. And this, um, this, this emblem that the Phoenix, uh, has around its neck, right? That is representing the phi. I just know that it is. The 21st letter of the Greek alphabet. Also, uh, it's used as the golden ratio. And, you know, you gotta look into this stuff, but it's really, it's really true. Uh, the DNA, you can, you can find phi ratio in DNA. You know, the, the, look at, there even, the, the helix measures 21 Armstrong's wide. 21st letter of the Greek alphabet. Phi. And it go again, I only see this thing in part, but I understand what it's pointing to. And this is literally pointing to this beast system being introduced. And that you need to come to Jesus and be saved. Or else this beast system will trap you. It will literally trap your eternal soul. I mean, that's a big deal. You know, this life, this flesh, this isn't everything, okay? You gotta break the chains of sin. Break them. Don't be like, you know, the ones who didn't keep their first estate. You know what I mean? This is insane stuff, but it's all true. Unbelievable. But, you know, I just share it. 
uh, there's more. There always is, but, you know, I'll get all, you know, confused. Hey, here's something interesting, though, for you. This was the, uh, the main attraction on the runway at the London Fashion Week this week. Sperm! So, if anybody tells you that, uh, <laughs> this whole spiritual war doesn't have something to do with the DNA, uh, they're lying to you. So, there's some reading for you right there, man. I mean, this is serious business. You need Jesus Christ before this snare fully entraps you. Just have a love for the truth and know that our intelligence and our smarts cannot <laughs> get us out of this. No man can. Only Jesus. So, I hope that made sense to somebody. This is crazy stuff, you guys. This is absolute insanity. But, there it is. Once hail is unhackable. And they put this image up there. God in a box. The doors open. Choose Jesus. Not everlasting darkness. Peace and grace to y'all. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,